decrypted something from the BBFM fact file. Did you know there are over 30 towns called Bristol in the good old US of A? Shit. Anyways, those in the know tonight make their way down to the old Duke in King Street in this very Bristol. The long way to return of Bristol favourite Crawl Daddy. Those of you who can't make it, you're gonna miss a treat. Let's give you a taste of what you will be missing. This is Crawl Daddy on BBFM. Truly be you Now, honey, I don't know which way to run. Everything I need to do, Lord, ain't done. Whatever happened to just having fun, you know. I lost it in a baggage on the bastard. We are absolutely starving. Our special today is Bristol clam chowder. And Lisa can make it for you right out back. Great, let's have it. Do you want a drink while you're waiting? Yeah, I'll have a coffee, please. Coffee? And how about you, sir? Nice cup of tea for me, guys. Sure Thank you very much.
looking for Lisa and the clam chowder. Yeah, where is she? My name is Lisa Walker. Lisa. This is my restaurant, the Bristol Diner, and we're in Bristol Mills, Maine. And what I'm about to do for you today is make some clam chowder. All right. I have here some salt pork. So this is the place for chowder. People do, they like our chowder. I don't want to say anything that's going to get any other restaurants mad, but they do like our chowder here. <laughs> We have so many regulars here. Well, Howard, Thank you. he likes that chowder. Out on the flats, all the woods in below. Clamming and fishing is, is big here. One of the main sources of income around here. Well, you've had a great increase in tourism, haven't you? Yes, we have. We call them leaf peepers. Leaf or, peepers. Or leaf, <laughs> leaf peepers. They come up to look at the leaves changing. Oh, <laughs> Great day for chowder. Next, what we're going to do here is we're going to shuck clams. This is all you do. You stick your knife inside here, and you just go right down, around, right. like so. Open it up, and there's your clam. OK, we'll take these clams. We're going to put them into the chowder. Oh, I'm looking forward to a bowl of that. Yeah, so we'll this is going to be a, later on. some clammy chowder. Summertime, the digging days are long. You get two tides a day if you were strong. Well, what is your chowder? Uh, oh, it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. You need salt and pepper with this? Do it. Um, I would taste it? it first. Personal choice. Taste it first, yeah. Okay. Yes, would you like butter for your biscuits? Yes, please. A little bit of salt, I think. Are you doing butter? Okay. Ask yourself. Oh, pretty good. Yeah? Kind of hanging around. Uh, I'm Chris. Oh, pleased to meet you. Rusty, Rusty Rogers. Hi, Rusty. The yodeling cowboy, yeah, right? Why, sure. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Hey, it's a living. It's a living. I gotta be stringing along now, so it's been nice meeting you folks. Okay. Keep your pecker up. This is Claw Daddy episode one. This is part two of two final mix in stereo. Well, I mean, oh, I got us in. I've been walking for about 20 minutes. Get it. You said it was left, then it's right, then it's left. No. It's right. Come on. Let's try down here.
We're totally lost now. Oh. Look, some folks over there. Let's ask them. All right, let's go and ask them. Hi, can you tell us where we are? What cheer me top, which is welcome friends to Bristol, Rhode Island, the Tum Tuk, the home of the Poconoke Indians. I am Flower Hawk, and this is Princess Dancing, Dancing Star. She is a direct descendant of the Massasoits here in Bristol. Our history goes back thousands of generations to people way back in time. We are the first people to have greeted your people when you came across from the Mayflower. And now I will let her tell you the story of our three sisters here. Trouble spirit. Ages ago, three maidens came to Patumtuck, for they knew that the people of Poconoket were very good people. Trouble spirit. We prayed to the Creator, and we gave thanks to the Creator, for this was our way of life. We prayed to the Great Spirit, and so the three maidens came as messengers from the Great Spirit. Trouble Spirit. and they brought gifts to our people. One maiden brought corn, one maiden brought beans, and one maiden brought squash. But there were some who did not believe that these three maidens were messengers from the Creator. And so they asked, please, oh please, give us a sign that you are from the Creator. And so the three maidens walked to the water's edge here on the shore. They turned to the people, waved, and turned to stone. Corn, beans, squash the three sisters. This is where we should be, Randy. Pouring down a rain Water running all in my shoes Pouring down rain Water running all in my shoes Got them sad and lonely feeling Didn't know I'd miss you Girl, you've been gone for seven days now. Well, it seems like seven years. And girl, if you don't come back to me, well, I believe I'll be down in my own dear lesson. I think she'll be around here. I don't think so. No. At the top, we're supposed to be good, not twice down that road. What, up here? Ah, you folks lost? Lost? Yeah. Completely hey, lost. I'll show you around, give you a grand tour. Oh, a guided tour of Bristol? Oh, absolutely. Okay, oh, that great. That sounds great. There you go. Yeah, take a ride right here. All right, everybody, here we are in the Bristol Town Common. All right, here we are outside of a kind of an interesting house. <laughs> OK, uh, that boat behind us, uh, Chris, Steve, that is the Defiant. Uh, that, that was the trial horse against uh, the America Q. 
Uh, in other words, they sent, uh, they built both boats and whichever one won uh, got the challenge for the cup. And um, the America Q uh, won the America's Cup in 1992. This is where you're from now? No, no, I'm, I'm originally from New York City. <laughs> Do you work in Rhode Island? No, no, I, I work up in Boston. Right. Um, I, I, I get occasional work down here at, at that place where we were. What do you do down in Boston, Jeff? Um, I'm a busker. Say you don't need my love. You don't need my uh, love. Anybody got any voice Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of money can you make on that kind of game? Oh, now you're never going to get a street performer to talk about money. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm the tax man. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I can't lose now, baby. No. This was common land, and then uh, it was turned into a cemetery. And uh, in the late 1860s, around 1870, uh, when they decided that a couple of schools needed to be built, they moved a good number of the gravestones, but they kind of left the bodies where they was laying. You know what you I'm mean, saying? You mean they moved the gravestones and left the bodies under the school? Something like that, so. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're trodden on uh, dead folks, like right now. And never change. Never change. Yeah, the same old king. Same old king. Never change. Same old thing. So where are we headed next then, Jerry? Going downtown, gonna see my girl. Is that right? <laughs> that didn't say nothing done to what? <laughs> this area is called Papa Squash. And um, this kind of odd configuration here with the uh, house kind of held earthward by this buoy. Uh, Rhode Island has gotten some, some very, some historically heavy storms. Uh, the hurricane of 1938, for instance, uh, where almost where 300, uh, over 300 people died in Rhode Island, is the hurricane by which all other hurricanes uh, of this century are measured. We have light breezes yeah. in England. Okay. <laughs> have you ever been to England? Though? No, no, I've I've never been to England. Uh, I've had a uh, guide dog for most of my life, and uh, you guys kind of have a six-month quarantine oh, yeah, yeah. rule over there. I think the Queen gets her dogs in okay, though. There's a bit of corgi smuggling going on there, mate. I can imagine. <laughs> they sure like sticking the old flag out around here, don't they? You guys have a funny accent, you know what I'm saying? I, I'd have a spot of tea with you, but it's after 4 o'clock, you know. Well, I'm going to be here for the rest of my life, and all I did was shoot my wife. Captain Johnson's house. A uh, very sentimental story about this particular house. Uh, uh, an amateur photographer became fascinated with the place. Uh, as you can see, the eagles, the carved eagles on top. And um, he was constantly filming this thing. Uh, went in to talk to the owner. Could he check out the inside of the house? And um, upon checking uh, on the inside of the house, uh, he met the man's daughter and, and fell in love and married the woman. You've been dogging me around. Dogging me around too long. Mm -hmm. Dogging me around. Dog me, baby, dog man. You've been dogging me around. Dogging me, around. <laughs> this place was built around uh, 1800 by a sea captain. Uh, every damn thing was owned here by sea captains then. Hello, Captain. Uh, while the men were out on these ships, uh, he had them carve the eagles, just like musicians, always doing double duty. I wonder if he got. I wonder if they got paid for that. We all know musicians like this stuff, Jerry, but it must be even tougher for you, yeah? As far as uh, a blind person, a lot of, a lot of club owners um, worry about having a blind person wandering around their club, and um, so they just, don't, uh, they just don't hire you. Right. That's, is that a discrimination or just a self-protection thing? Uh, well, it's self-protection that leads to discrimination, which you can't do a damn thing about it because all you have to do is say they don't like uh, they they don't like your show, they don't they don't choose to have your show in there. Yeah, okay. In the morning, 
Drink and a big cigar. And Sounds some good to me. music. Good to me. Let's go. Right in there. See what bottom of the beach is. Pictures. It's a great day for chowder. <laughs> <laughs>